What's going on, peeps? It's the Urban Franchise, Tony, Montana. And you know what, guys? Today is a very special day. Today is Father's Day. Um, and today is a very meaningful day to a lot of people. Now, I myself am not a father. Um, which is kind of funny, because out of all my friends growing up, I was the one who always wanted to be a dad. And now, out of 90% of them, I'm the only one who's not. <laughs> um, but... Today I'm going to talk about my father, my dad, um, really one of the most awesome dads in the world. This is a tribute to him and um, not enough people do that come out here, especially in my demographic, and talk about how amazing of a father they had. And I had a father, I didn't have just a dad, I had a father, someone who raised me, who when I was a kid he was one of my best friends. I was like his riding partner. Every weekend I'd go from to the groceries. Um, we'd uh, go to the video store every week. All the time we hung out when I was younger. And um, even up to now, we have a pretty good relationship. It's not a lot of people talk about that. And I, I've, and I find it funny because there's been times where people have commented on even my old channel and the new channel. It's like, do you even know who your dad is? It's like a very messed up demographic, but I do. Yeah. My dad and mom are still married. They gave me an amazing life. Um, the reason why I was fortunate enough to have the time to give you guys content in the early days is because of how amazing my parents were and how accommodating they were. But um, I had an awesome dad. He was very supportive and to this day very supportive. He's always been the type of person who always wants to take care and help all his loved ones. And it's very much the role that he has in our family. He's always helping everyone being there. Um, I've learned a lot from him growing up. And there's a lot of things where it was like, um, like simple things like going to the groceries. Anytime there's like me and my friends were going to do a cookout or something, I'm always, was always the one who had to pick out whatever because I would always know how to pick out the best stuff. And that's just because I went with my dad to the groceries every weekend. And what are we going to do there? Stand there and do nothing? We didn't have cell phones back then. So I, I watched what he was doing and how he would pick out the vegetables and what type of meats. And I remember what the differences like taking less fat and meat and stuff. Um, just little things like that I learned. And then just like just so many little things that just like. And it's been interesting because recently there's been a few times where I've gone out with him and we've done those old treks. I've gone with him to the groceries once in a while, go to the West Indian store. There's just no video store. And that was like the one highlight of my weekend being a kid. Um, I didn't get out much. My parents were very overprotective. But it's just like every weekend, I'd go with my dad to the video store and I'd either get a, a video game or a movie, which is very cool. And I remember being younger, I'd always say to my one day, I'm going to have the video store membership, Dad, and I'm going to take you to the video store, and you're going to get something in. Well, video stores don't exist anymore. <laughs> so that never got to happen. But uh, I actually got to take uh, solace in a moment where, because he's not the most tech-savvy type of person. He's a baby boomer. Um... So, you know, that generation doesn't know technology as well as everyone else. But being able to find him, like, uh, rent movies for him online and whatever. And uh, introducing him to YouTube, Netflix, and other streaming platforms. Uh, it's kind of like me paying back for all those years. He took me to the video store and I got to rent a video game or I got to rent a movie. Funny thing, I used to always run Commando all the time. It was one of my favorite movies. And it was just like, it got to the point I kept renting it so much that my dad just was like, you know what? He just bought it from the video store. And back then, movies were like 50 bucks. It was not like how cheap they are now. You'd get like, it's a whole box set if you're paying that price. Um, but I honestly will tell you guys, I would not be the man I am today I have a certain level of maturity and responsibility that if I didn't have someone who was as mature and responsible, I wouldn't be there. Um, I've always taken a lot of pride in being my father's son, 
Uh, knowing that he's one of those type of people who put in the work. He's well respected everywhere. He's legit one of the most one of the most respected men in the dental industry, despite being retired for almost like a decade now. But he um, was one of those guys who broke the color barriers. Where back in the time, all managers looked a certain way. He was one of those first black managers in like a major company, the dental industry and medical supply industries, um, had a high level position, multiple high level positions because he started off literally from the bottom, like just moving uh, boxes and stuff, then got into customer service, then became the manager, supervisor of customer service became the uh, manager of the uh, service team, where it's like all the people who fix all the dental equipment, he was all their bosses. And then he made an amazing, amazing career, just knowing that I had a father who was at that point where they started giving opportunities to minorities. And a lot of them got those opportunities, but not all of them grew. Some got the opportunity and got let go. My father is one of the ones who grew in that company. He got to a certain level that most never could back then. He never even finished high school back in Trinidad, but he was able to come here to Canada with nothing. Literally came here with nothing, had to live with my aunt at first. But he did so well that he went back, married my mom, brought my older siblings here, and then created an amazing life for them and me and my younger brother. Um, brought us into the world of this amazing country. Um, I'm very grateful. It's just like, I would not be me if not for him. And I don't think any of my siblings would be who they are. I think even though you could say whatever in any times in our lives or our circumstances weren't the best, despite where we were, just the knowledge that we had from having a father like that who was always on us and being like, telling us things like, think about the consequences before you do anything. And then think before you do anything. Plan things. Know what you're doing. He was always very meticulous, like going out. He would plan every move, where he was going, when he was going, the time frame. He would know to the dot when he was coming home, whenever we would be making our rounds, back then till now. Obviously, traffic would come into play sometimes, but knowing that until this day, and it's just like, I feel, and the one thing most people know about me is how manly a man I am. I think I am that type of manly because it's, I was the son of someone like that. Um, my father, romantic too, just like how I am. You guys call me Uncle Heart Heartthrob sometimes. Um, he uh, still brings my mom flowers every week. They've been married for, oh, a long time, like 50 years almost. And still till now. And he's so thoughtful. He, he thinks about everyone. It's just like why I do that, why I think about everyone. And just like, he was hard on us, so certain people, when I see more in them, I'm hard on them, or just like throw them into things that they don't know or expect, just because I expect it. It's the same thing like me, I, I, I appreciate that. It wasn't always, not everyone has the knowledge to give you, but they know how to put you into circumstances to make you grow. And I, I got put some circumstances to make me grow, and I'll always be grateful for that. I wouldn't be here if I didn't grow into this person. And I had an environment, very protective when I was younger, but I'll always be grateful for that. Thank you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Honestly, you are one of the greatest fathers in the world. I have a lot of my friends say, yo, your dad is so cool, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember the first time he came out, my best friend, and so he was just like, yo, your dad should come out so more. He's like, he's so cool, man. He's like an old you. Um, it's like, uh, so you got it, you know? Um, it's like that line. I get it from my daddy. That's why I have the urban franchise. That's why I've become this polarizing uh, international public figure on these social media platforms. Because I, I grew up with someone with so much personality who, damn. I literally will tell you guys, if I was able to do a series where I was just interviewing my dad about all the things he, all his crazy stories he used to tell me when I was younger about his past, 
I'd probably go viral. My dad is legit cool. Like, I have a cool dad. <laughs> Not a lot of people could say that. Well, dad, thank you so much for the life I got to live. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for the advice you've given me that's helped me grow. Thank you for pushing me in situations that have helped me grow. I will always have so much appreciation for you and my ultimate goal is to make you proud. And I hope that I have, and I hope that I will even more with all my future endeavors. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you guys for joining me on this tribute to my father. Well, peeps, this is the point where we tell you, follow me on everything Urban Franchise Entertainment. Stay good, peeps, and keep it glitch. Oh,